All right, just a little update on the Megasquirt project. My friend wanted to use a knock sensor on this, so he ordered the knock sensor module. And this actually solders onto the top of the MS3 CPU board by way of these uh, 0.1 inch headers, uh, pin headers. And it also includes a little bit of wire because uh, you need to run a little lead from the knock module over to one of the pins on the actual CPU board and this is uh, the actual module itself so it's got three pins on this side three pins on this side and it's got two other ones on here but I believe those are just for support so it doesn't just sit on on the three pins here and then it wobbles around and stuff and then uh, it has support for two knock sensors as you can see right there, K1 and K2. And then there's the this one right here that says a PM2. That pin there goes to one of the pins on the CPU board. So this little board here just has an 8 megahertz crystal. And then uh, this chip here that says a TPIC8101DW, which uh, I, don't, I have no idea what it is. I haven't looked it up. All right, so the way you're supposed to mount this is you're supposed to put the those pin headers, solder them into these uh, holes here and on this side. And then the pin farthest here to the right is supposed to solder onto the pin right there, all farthest to the right on the CPU board. So this uh, just, you know, just kind of goes on there like that. Except I'm not too fond of that idea just because if I need to remove this for whatever reason, having to unsolder three pins from here and then three pins from over here is going to be a bit of a pain, not to mention the other side. So what I'm going to do instead is I got this. Uh, little pin sockets so I'm gonna cut out three of these for like the the three or like two sets of three for each one of these uh, sets here and then one each here and I'm just gonna do that by taking a box cutter like a really sharp with a really sharp blade and I'm just gonna slice across here and this is what I'm actually going to solder onto these the pins I'm still gonna put the those pin headers onto onto the, the little module here but then that way I can just slide them into this socket and if I ever need to remove it for whatever reason I can just pull this right off and uh, these sockets can remain in place and if I need to remove those also for whatever reason I can do one at a time like these sets of three over here I can just take those off at once and then take off the other ones and then the individuals on the other side so the addition of this module also requires the addition of a wire that's going to go from the pin right here from the, the fourth one down here on the bottom which would be pin 27 if I'm reading this correctly goes from that to the little single pad right there on its other uh, little hole right there on its own that says PM2 that goes to that actually that's what exactly what it says on there it says a PM2 for pin 27 so the wire is going to lead from that to that so I'm going to bring that around up through here and then you know attach it to there so the one thing that kind of sucks about cutting these apart is that unlike the pin headers where you can just kind of snap them off these have a lot of plastic in between each uh, little section so when you cut one off you basically always end up damaging the one right next to it so what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to cut this one here like closer to this side to this one so that I don't damage the one next to it and this one's basically useless so I yeah, you basically you just end up uh, wasting one in between each uh, few little sets that you cut out. All right, so there's my sets, and uh, honestly, I don't know if these are even uh, made with the intention of being cut, but whatever. I mean, they'll they'll work for my purposes, so I did it anyways. Okay, so I got the little pin headers uh, soldered onto this module, and what I did to keep them all as straight as possible, and so that they align with the pins on the little CPU board is I stuck the pins in this uh, breadboard here and that way now that they're on they're all pretty square and straight and now what I can do is I can take my little sockets and slide these on just like that uh, let's turn these around here and now these will be all lined up so that when I solder them onto the little daughter board they're all going to 
line up just right so I can like kind of do it off to the side a little bit so that it just uh, so that it's nice and uh, straight like so and I've already soldered this wire on here that's the one that's going to go to that PM2 point on the bottom of the border so I'm just going to bring that around through here and through the bottom after I see how much I need of that what I'm also going to do is put a little blob of hot glue to hold this in place here because I don't want vibrations from the car to you know eventually make these contacts break and I, I do that with uh, pretty much anything that that's going to be like mobile and it's going to move around and stuff because it's, it's just a uh, less less headache later on if something happens to to break due to vibrations so I'll probably yeah like I'll, I'll put a little blob there and then uh, maybe another one here where underneath that before I like well since I since I have these on the sockets I can just remove it and uh, I'll solder that on there put like a little blob to hold that in place and then uh, I can stick this back on okay so now I got the sockets uh, soldered in place and now if I need to do anything I can just remove this and the sockets will be left there so I can do whatever I, I need to do or whatever and then I can just uh, pop this back on that and good to go. I already trimmed this wire and I just gotta trim it back here and uh, solder it into place and that's uh, pretty much all I need to do on this end except uh, solder the other two wires here for the sensors which I have already have um, I have them ready here in place already uh, the version 3 board of the uh, Mega Squirt has uh, four extra pins over here that are for general purpose use and the first I believe it's uh, three and four right here that are for yeah, whatever uh, I believe it's the uh, three and four I'm, we're using for a CAN bus which uh, he's not going to use anytime soon I don't believe it's, they're just kind of there just in case and the other uh, two that were left over are the ones we're going to be using for these uh, for the knock sensors so that's uh, all wired to there and all I got to do now is just uh, unwrap these and solder them into the two knock sensor inputs on the module. Alright, so I've got all the wires soldered onto the module here and as you can see I put a dab of hot glue on there to hold all three of these wires from uh, vibrating too much and uh, breaking the contacts and also on this side here. So now I can just take this flip it over and install it in these and in their sockets and I can kind of shape this so that it and it just kind of sits there somewhere, just out of the way. This part comes out of the bottom there. I can slide all this back into its home. Okay, install it on its socket up there. And bring this one in here. I'm going to have to bend these up a little bit just so they clear that module. Yeah. Okay, like that. This cable kind of rides over the top of it. And plug that back in. So it sits in there like that. And the case is going to be kind of sitting up here. So there's not much uh, chance for this. Oh, sorry. So that just kind of all sits in there like that. I can kind of tuck these in underneath here somewhere. Somewhere. That. Okay. And, uh,. Cool thing is that since I got these uh, kind of ribbon cables up here, where the case is going to sit right here, it's going to kind of put some pressure on the, well, not exactly pressure, but it's going to keep that from vibrating out of those sockets, so I'm not too worried about that coming off. And on this side here, I got to install the screws that are going to mount the, the board to these uh, standoffs. The only thing I'm not too uh, fond of here is that they include these uh, they include like some washers that you're supposed to like place in between the board and the standoffs here to kind of give it the right amount of uh, support on there because as you can see if I were to put a screw here and tighten it all the way down it would bend this board down quite a bit and we don't want that so I found that four washers on the front one here and two on the back kind of did the trick for me so I take these four, or well, I take four of these, which are hard to pick up from the workbench. 
There we go, we got three. Now I got four. And just kind of sandwich them together. And then just uh, kind of slide them in there. Just enough so that they clear that hole. And then I can take one of the screws and install it on there. And for now I'm just going to kind of hand tighten it. Just like that. And now that's supported. And we're going to do the same thing as the back one here. So I take the other two and I just kind of slide them in there. So that they clear the hole. Put the screw in. Oh, and another thing. One of the screws that came in the kit was already kind of tarnished. Which I was like, <laughs> oh well, whatever. So I'm going to put that in there. All right. Ah. Tighten it up. So, not too bad. You can kind of see that where it's tightened up here, it kind of flattens it out a little bit and then it kind of goes down and where it's tightened up right there, it kind of flattens it out a little bit. But there's really not a whole lot going on in this area. So not too concerned about anything happening with that. Um, other than that, I believe we're completely done with uh, putting the this whole thing together for the most part. Now it's just got to get installed in the car. Excuse the mess. As far as this module goes, uh, hardware-wise, it's uh, basically done. All I got to do now is uh, load in the firmware, and then we just got to install the rest of the wiring into the car itself, and it should be ready to go. I mean, other than uh, setting uh, all the, uh, the settings and the software and everything for it. So um, I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, thanks for watching again. And remember, if you like this kind of stuff, be sure to thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time.